is a neater way, uses the gl command to generate levels. And it takes this. Looks like this. So gl followed by the number of levels, number of observations each level, and optionally the number of length if we want this to be repeated, the pattern repeated again and again until the number of observations is equal to this value here. We'll see this in action, it's a bit of a mouthful to explain it. Followed by then the label of the levels, so he can name the levels that we have created. So for treat, so we're going to generate levels, we're going to be four levels because remember we have A, B, C, D as the levels, and each of these levels, 12, going back to the data, that's of length 12, 12 observations for each treatment. So my picture, I want this of length 12, B, 12, C, 12, D, 12. Okay, enter, if we type treat now to look at it, it's automatically recognized it as a factor because it's got levels there and that's the pattern. Next the, the poison, uh, sorry the uh, yeah the poison. One type, one, two and three and it's got to look like this. So it's going to have one, two and threes for the uh, for each level of the uh, treatment. So that pattern one, two, three has to be repeated. And we see that for each treatment, that level there's there are four observations. One, two, three, four. That's for level one. Uh for poison type two. One, two, three, four. Treatment three, one, two, three, four. So you might think about doing this using the generate levels. We've got three levels, each has four observations, and here are the labels. Let's look at it. Okay, that's what you have. What you notice though, look, it's four of one, four of two, four of three. In terms of my picture, that only gives me this bit here. Four of one, four of two, four of three takes me down to the bottom here. That gives me 12 observations, you see. But I need that repeated for B, C, and D. Now, this is where that length command comes in. Let's have a look at the length option. Length. Remember, the length is. I want this repeated so many times so the number of observations is equal to the value of length. So it's the length I want. Okay, so so what we have is where's my pen? This column and there's twelve observations. But I need it repeated for these as well. So in other words, twelve here, twelve, twelve, twelve. So four times twelve, that's forty eight. So the length is 48. I put in here now length. Of course, 48. Enter. Now look at it. There you go. Now that looks better. So that is 48 uh, members there. And that matches the length of treatment. Look at the treatment. That's also 48. Four levels each with 12 observations. 4 times 12, 48. And if we look here again, 4 times 3 is 12, but that's only for one column. We need to repeat it so many times so that the total length is 48. So this uh, number of rows here should match this number of rows, which should match the total number of observations. That's the hardest part done. All we have to do now is combine into a data frame. So data frame, I'm going to create a data frame by combining the columns of poison, which was just the column of uh, the dependent variable, the measurements, the treatment which we've created, and then poison that I've created. And if we look at it, there, fantastic. So this is what they call the wide form. We have column of the dependent variable one column for the fact, one factor, another column for the other factor. And they match up. Let's look all the way down. So I've create, shown you here how to create factors along with the levels for a given column of measurements. 
let's just finish off by tidying this up. It's give, I was given this uh, measurements here a label v1 because we haven't given it one, so let's just name it. We we'll call that we use the names command. Names command, name of the data frame, naming the column one. I'm going to call it dose. Put it. There, all done, nice, and all ready for your ANOVA analysis. The data is now in what they call the long form or the molten form.